Now what Justice Correa said, and we applaud him for that bravely, he has stated one, that the petition was not merited in the first instance for reasons that it was not a constitutional question that had been posed by that petition. Secondly, that even if it were on merit, the issues that were raised by the petitioners were invalid to the extent that the company secretary of the 54 tea factories as well as the holding company had powers to first uh, come up with the rules because the powers that were exercised by the company secretary coming up with, with the rules were powers that were donated by the articles of association of the respective tea factories as well as the holdings company. And secondly, that the appointment of the election officials were also powers that fall within the mandate of the company secretary. And therefore the court held that indeed those rules were not only valid, but they continue to be valid for purposes of the elections of the tea factories as well as the holding company. In summary, the court has held that the petition is to be dismissed and it was indeed dismissed. Uh, unfortunately, the court did not grant costs because it said that it did not want to burden the tea farmers who have been dragged to court unnecessarily because they ought not in the first place have been brought to court. The court also mentioned, and more particularly, that the issues that were being raised in court, all these litigations, are matters that ought to be handled internally by the respective uh, tea factory companies. Because remember, these tea factories have their internal dispute resolution mechanisms. The articles provide on how they should resolve such an issue or a dispute when it arises. So the court has said, go back, if you have any complaint, go to the annual general meeting the annual general meeting of the respective tea factory companies where anybody who is, uh, you know, feel uh, aggrieved by a decision of the factory can raise that complaint before the tea farmers and shareholders of the company who can then provide a resolution and make a decision of that dispute. Coming to court is not a resolution of a company dispute. It should be resolved by the members through the annual general meeting. The net effect of this decision is that all those directors who had been elected in the elections of 2019, October to November, now therefore should proceed and assume office uh, as soon as possible in compliance with the regulations that govern such assumption of office. Uh, it's, it's there, one amend it. It's a big win for KTDA. KTDA? Yeah. They yes. have allowed the directors who are elected mm -hmm. in 2019 mm -hmm. to run it through for a period of two, three years. Mm, three years. To take office. Mm -hmm. To assume office, yes. To assume office. Yeah, yeah. To tell you a story. Story, because...